Janine Edwards joining us now. What's up, Janine? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me here. This is so cool. I'm I so glad official. you're here. I feel official now. <laughs> no, this is... Like, we've, yeah, we've been hanging you know, out with Janine. All the times that we come up here... And you, you know, you guys are running around and stuff. But you don't come hang out with us. You're the I first know. one. I feel so bad like, about that. Like it's the TV to radio thing. I think what it is. You know. It you, is. You know what? She not only has been hanging. She's been here for an hour. Yeah. I, I think Janine might have been here before us. Well, I I got here at 7:30 this morning, guys. I oh. don't know about you. Yikes. I, well, at I first was it sleeping. was the rain, but the sun's out now, so she might actually like us. We might be friends now. You yeah, know what? You are good. official. You got the wow. tent. You got Thank the you. official, you know, Saratoga credential. We got beverages. We're all good to go here. I, I might come and hang out here more often. <laughs> you know how we have the credentials? They know who you are. <laughs> we have to remind them. Yeah, I'm they, like, I grew up here. You've kicked me out of here before. Really? Yeah. So, you even without that? <laughs> they still do it. Thanks for that, Janine. Appreciate that. Now, now Janine, you're in your element around the horse racing scene because you're originally from Jersey, and at 16 years old, you started gravitating towards the horse racing world. I know. Much to my parents' chagrin, they were like, you want to do what? <laughs> And I started working on the backstretch, and here, Saratoga was one of my first jobs. Wow. Really? As a hot walker, you know, the people that cool the horses out, that walk the horses around. Really? And I didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea what I was doing, but uh, I, I wanted to ride and train racehorses, so I did that for 10 years. And that's actually what got me into television, because I then, my you know, as life takes you in different directions... Right. My career, second career, began and evolved into uh, broadcasting. I started covering horse racing for ESPN many moons ago, like wow. the late 1990s. So, wow. But it all started right here at Saratoga. <laughs> That's you, pretty cool. How often did you go to the parents? Oh, I shouldn't do horses, huh? <laughs> what now? Yes. Drop the mic, walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I made a good Here's choice. my paycheck, Mom. You <laughs> I showed you. I own horses uh, now. Yeah, what? Right. <laughs> and, and you actually, you have horses now, too. I do. I have a retired racehorse. And you know what's oh. funny? We were just talking about bruises on the Yeah. Got some yeah. Armin bruises looks, Armin looks like he got, like, I bet you baby Munchie is two-year-old. What happened there? I, I think it's a two-year-old beat him up. I went to a uh, tree-to-tree adventure aerial park, Ramble Wild. Wow. It's in uh, Western Mass. And I have no arm strength. <laughs> I was hanging on by my armpit, and I have yeah. so many bruises on my arm. You got into a fight with a rope, and you lost. Well, Evidently. Well, and then you were like, hey, you're, my horse bit you. Oh, like, my God. Nobody's gosh. ever told me that. But, yeah. yeah, my horse is a former racehorse, and it's so funny because when I take my husband to the barn with me, and my husband's not a horse guy, but he's a great sport, but he's a big dude, but if he's not paying attention... My horse will get him, and really? his arms will look like that. Many, Man, many colors. It hurts, too. See, I, I, horses and I have a terrible relationship, and I can't say as I blame them. Like, if I saw this walking up to oh, sit stop. on my back, I'd be like, nope, not in there. <laughs> yeah. not Nobody do might it. say, what do you got? You got some treats yeah. for me? Yeah, you got anything left there, big boy? Let's go. That's right. I thought you were eating apples. <laughs> Janine Edwards, ESPN, <laughs> Janine Edwards with Armin in the back, 104.5 the team. Uh, tomorrow morning from 9 a.m. to 12 noon on ESPN, it is Sports Center on the Road, and they will be live here from Saratoga, Sarah Walsh will be the anchor, and Janine Edwards and Kenny Main, the reporters. What's Kenny Main like? Oh, he's a hoot. I bet he's a trip. Yeah. He is a trip. What you, you see keep an on, eye on him at all times? What you see on TV is exactly who he is. Uh, he's got such a quick wit. He's oh. such a clever guy. Yeah. So funny. He loves horses and horse racing, I think, as much as I do. I mean, he would basically pay money to be here to do this assignment. He flew all the way from Seattle. I know. I shouldn't say that, out loud. Don't, say that. Say that out loud. Don't let our bosses know. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't come out of, out of that Seattle cave. He doesn't come out of much. Seattle very no. often anymore. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. He would definitely. And he and I have worked many horse racing telecast on ESPN together cool. many of them right here at Saratoga so we're both pumped that's awesome he's like the he's like the Bill Murray of sports casting <laughs> like, you know what I mean like he's just he's got that different drive fun sense of humor oh, yeah. like I imagine he's probably here somewhere like in in disguise right now messing he could with people. be he could be I guarantee you one thing he'll be wearing flip-flops <laughs> oh yeah because that's what he wears he's a little casual he huh? does not wear shoes he's got terrible ankles he's had like 10 surgeries on his ankles from basketball playing so he will he's always be football in against Favre. how can he have bad ankles <laughs> I just saw it, it, it's, it's, our, our flip flops. Our flip flops sta like stable? Is that how's that stability to your ankles? It's not. It's That's not. Good. But I guess it's a comfort thing. But here's wow. a little. Here's, here's a little secret. He actually will cut his um, his dress shoes in half, and he'll wear just the front part of the dress shoes <laughs> on the air, so that he's just slipping his foot in, so that it's not like a real shoe. Wow. But from the front, you can't tell. I feel so like I need to vlog this. Don't tell him my secret. Right, sure. Nobody's. Nobody will know. <laughs> No, but, uh, yeah. 
104.5theteam.com. Yeah. We'll catch you fake questions later. Be ready. No, yeah, Kenny is, is, is just a trip. I love him. Yes, me as Janine Edwards with Armin in the back. We are live from Saratoga Racecourse for opening weekend. Sports Center on the road tomorrow morning, 9 to 12 on ESPN. Janine, what are we going to expect from this Sports Center on the road? You've been here since 7.30 this morning. You got here late last night. You had a terrible trip getting here. Thank That's you. okay. It's worth it. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So tomorrow, you got to be trying at least like two different kinds of food, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we have been all over the place today shooting, okay. and tomorrow, trust me, folks, you do not want to miss the Sports Center because it is jam-packed. We are going to be everywhere. We're going to be Joe Tessitore, my dear friend and colleagues, going to have a great piece on the history of Saratoga awesome. and what you know brought this town and this course to be what it is today. Kenny Maine, my, my man, is doing a funny piece on the 2008 Travers that Birdstone won in <laughs> what looked like um, the Wizard of Oz with the yeah, tornado coming yep. in. That's exactly what it looked like. We were out here for that. And then I'm doing a piece on what makes Saratoga different. And it, all the little quirks and things about Saratoga that are so endearing and unique. So we got a ton of things on the show. We've got interviews. We've got all kinds of nooks and crannies here to show you guys on the air so you'll love it don't miss it i can't wait for that what makes it different because i've grown i've grown up here like this is i've been i've been to belmont once but this is i'm always at, at saratoga oh, you lucky dog well so i'm sitting thinking to myself like when you say what makes it different i always tell people why this is the best track but i don't really know what i'm comparing it to except for online that's right yeah well, I, if I, you my went, rewards that's it <laughs> if you went to other tracks you would be like Okay, well, they don't have this, or the horses don't cross the road, or the jockeys don't walk through the fans, or you don't have the spring water, or you don't have all the great, all these great food selections. I mean, yeah, all tracks have food, but... They have stuff, but not like this. Exactly. I love it. All but, right. Janine, there's a vibe and a feeling here in Saratoga at the race course, a different one than there is anywhere else in the country. Would you agree with that? I would definitely agree with that. What is... It? It's, 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 it's Part of it is just the history, right? Like, you walk in and you go... There's been a lot of historic races and people and celebrities that have walked right here where I'm standing. You just feel it. You just, you just pretty much summed up a bump that I just shot upstairs in the turf terrace, the dining room, which looks like Casablanca. you got okay. the ceiling fans going and the wooden you know, beams. And it's like, this place is older than Wrigley Field by 50 years. It's Ooh. older than Lambo. It's older than Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's older than the Rose Bowl. And it's been sort of the summer getaway for the rich and famous forever. Vanderbilt's, the Whitney's, but now you've got guys, you know, Bobby Flay and New Kevin Dillon playing, yeah. and, you know, David Hyde Pierce and all these guys like to hang out here. So it's really, like I say tomorrow on the air, I'm going to give it away, but it's like Casablanca meets Entourage, and that's Saratoga. Wow. So new money meets old money kind exactly. of thing. I love it. And then no money. Like myself, as well. Hey, Armin we got to cover all the bases. Yeah, right, we got right. equal opportunity. Armin in the back, 104.5, the team, your home for New York sports, ESPN's Janine Edwards. She is part of the Sports Center on the road. You will see tomorrow on ESPN between 9 and 12 noon. Now, Janine, you are going to be busy with college football this fall. Ooh. Yeah. As you always are. Yeah. You're going to be yep. at, uh, you know, you're calling it what, college football training camps? We're going to be doing a training camp tour. Oh, wow. Exactly, exactly. We hope to get that kicked off now at Michigan. In oh, with Harbaugh, huh? yeah, exactly. I covered their spring game. Wear khakis. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> will you? Will you please wear some dad pants? Will you, you think do I it? Should wear khakis? I think you. Sh I think everybody should wear dad pants. I think oh. it should be. And I think people this, will back you. Do you think you. he like, would take that the wrong way, though? I mean, because like I think it's a toss of a coin which one you're going to get, which Harbaugh shows up oh, well, anyway. That's, that's true. Yeah. yeah. It, could, it could either be very endearing on me, or he could be offended by that. So you never really know how that's going to go. But saying hi to him could offend him. You just really don't know which Harbaugh is going to no. show up. He's been great to me. I got to right. say that. He's been great to me. The spring game, they had like 70,000 people there, which is unheard of. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about all that. Of course, at this time of year now, I pretty much say goodbye to my husband for the next six <laughs> months. He's a football coach. He's defensive coordinator at Oklahoma State, so he's working seven uh, days a week. And so it's kind of like ships passing in the night. Yeah. Texas Tech, you mean. Oh. Okay. All right. See, my gun's so up is a little different than my, your gun's up. Okay, but we know it's, it's go pokes. Right, and I'm guns right. up. Wreck them. Yeah. Well, well your Texas Tech recently is more like a turnstile. Like, everybody go through, <laughs> do what you want, go ahead, score some touchdowns, yeah. help yourself to the end zone, just keep going. What, your, your husband's DC, is that what you said? He's the defensive nice. coordinator. But you know what? I really think, and here's, let's, let's just say this. Let's hope the Big 12 
makes it to the Final Four this year, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Do you, how do you guys feel about them getting left out? Baylor and TCU both left yeah, out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. One of them, you got to throw a bone. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. O- Ohio State. But that'll be the argument to go to eight, and then, you know, we'll go from there. Right. Right. And then, but it'll give us something else to talk right. about, which is great. Right. And oh, then oh. Uh, you, SUNY Albany will get left out. <laughs> we'll have to go to Texas. We'll be like Texas. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> what about the great days? Exactly. New uh, School of Radio and Television will be left out. Then we got to, you know, it just keeps going. Braxton Miller, quarterback at Ohio State, announced last night he's going to play H back are they going to win the championship wide receiver i thought no yeah well, it's, it's, well, it's hybrid, hybrid. 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 it is a, it hybrid. is a yeah yes. it is a wide yeah. receiver of sorts right well, are they going to win the national championship they are so deep ohio state is they're incredibly deep they are incredibly deep they've got so much talent they've got a unbelievable coach um I really think they're going to be, they are definitely going to make it to the Final Four. She, she's about to go to make, Ann Arbor. She cannot <laughs> make that kind of prediction until after she leaves Ann Arbor. I'm Arbor's totally show. neutral. <laughs> I go to cover stories and news, and that's what I do. And I, truthfully, I don't have a rooting interest. Unless it's about the Pokes, which you, it's understandable. I don't even really should. have a rooting interest in the Pokes, to be honest. I want well, my husband to yeah. do well. I want him to be happy. So well, if they that play trickles solid down defense, to me, it's a good day. that's exactly right. That's you, exactly you just want right. a shutout. That's it. <laughs> Every we day. want takeaways. That's his mantra yep. this year. They want takeaways. Nice. Yeah. I like that. But doesn't every DC? Yeah. Well, the good ones. The ones who stay employed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Janine Edwards, ESPN Zone. You will see her on Sports Center on the road tomorrow morning from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Sarah Walsh will anchor uh, from the paddock area. You can come on out and you can see her tomorrow along with Janine, along with Kenny Maine. And Janine, you're beautiful. You're stunning. Thanks so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me on, guys. Awesome. And enjoy your Fridays yeah. here at Saratoga. I'm so jealous. Class. These guys are here every Friday afternoon, people, from 3 to 7. So come on out and see them here at Saratoga. It's a party scene, and these guys will have fun with you. I love Janine, it. we love you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it.